Spring sun and spring showers were the order last weekend for the 2011 Karis Tauranga Open. It's the second Charles Tour event of the year and a tournament that's seen two amateur winners and three professional victors down the years. Amongst the field were a New Zealand Open winner, an Indonesian Open winner and two golfers in the top ten of the One Asia Order of Merit. And it was one of those stars, Mike Hendry, that was first to go low, an opening round, five under 65. The North Harbour pro holding a share of the lead, Jim Cusden. To be honest, my arm's really poorly today. Uh, I've got a new set in the bag, so I'm going to go to the boot of the car and put my old ones back in, so hopefully they're a bit better tomorrow. But um, drove the ball well and, and putted really well too, so pretty happy. Hendry didn't have the easiest trips down the final hole. Yeah, it's a bit rough. Um, I hit three with him. It was the first one I hit all day and you know, promptly blocked it into the trees, but luckily enough I had a swing so I could manufacture a shot to, you know, around the, the trees and hit a good one and hold the putt. Nice three. Conditions toughened on day two, but that didn't deter Gareth Patterson. The One Asia Tour member fired an impressive six under 64. He soared into a three-shot lead at the halfway stage. In all honesty, I'm a bit disappointed walking off the course today. Um, left a good three shots out there, but you know I played some extraordinary shots. I had two chip-ins, so I guess you can't be greedy, but a couple of shots that I should have been better. One of those eye-catching chip-ins coming on the par three fourth hole. Didn't hit a very good six iron off the tee. I meant to hit a soft cut into the green and just fatted it short and um, played this miraculous lob shot <laughs> over the bunker and it managed to go in so it was the picture perfect shot really. Uh, you don't get too many of those but it was nice to, nice to pull one off in that fashion. The third round saw the amateur Ryan Fox move into contention. In wet and windy conditions, the big Aucklander carded a round of four under par. I had 66 today, it was actually a little bit of a mixed bag. Um, had a lot of parts early that I could have hold from inside 10 feet and I didn't, but I made up for that on the back nine, had a couple of good pass saves and hold a nice 30 footer on 17 for birdie. Fox was one shot back from the new leader, Jim Cusden. The Waikato professional bettering a 65 in the first round with a six under 64. He led by one after 54. I uh, just drove it well and um, had a couple of good pitch shots here and there, so yeah. We just basically got, a, got off to a sort of solid start and then um, on the back nine shot five under, so yeah, yeah. The final round started and Cusden's one-shot lead was quickly negated by a Ryan Fox birdie on the first. Nerves showed on the second hole, both Cusden and Fox pushing par putts past the hole. But Cousin got back his one-shot advantage with a birdie on three. It very nearly could have been an eagle. The Waikato Pro had this for his second birdie in a row and a two-shot advantage. Cousin and Fox collected bogeys on the fourth, so Cousin still in front by two. Up ahead on the eighth hole, the season pro Mike Hendry picked up his second birdie of the morning to be three shots adrift of the lead. But halting everyone's progress was the rain, the Karras Open taking a two and a half hour break. When the final round resumed, amateur Ryan Fox and Jim Cusden birdied the short par four eighth hole. Fox though, still two shots off Cusden's lead. Hendry was onto the back nine. And after claiming a birdie on 13, another soon followed on the 15th to take him to 11 under. But moving to 14 under, Jim Cusden. This birdie keeping him ahead by two over Fox. Also looking to get within two of the lead, Mike Hendry now on the 16th. The lead is now playing 16, and Fox made birdie after lobbing the fairway tree. So, Custer now needing a birdie on the same hole to restore that two-shot advantage. On to 17 now, and this time Custer putting for par. So the door slightly ajar for Michael Hendry on the final hole, but this birdie eludes him cruelly. 
playing the par 4 18th and Fox trailing by one sent his tee shot wayward. The New Zealand stroke play champion would have to chip out sideways with his second. Safely on the green, Jim Cusden needed only to avoid three putting. He would claim the Karras Tauranga Open in style, claiming also his first Charles Tour victory. Oh, it feels so good, eh? I was so nervous coming down the last few, but just tried to just stick to my routine and, yeah, managed to get up and then, so, yeah. I sort of started off good this morning. I had a bit of three-shot lead by the time we stopped. You know, it's, it's nice to do it properly, a four-rounder, not sort of half a job. Yeah, no, it was awesome.